Creating and integrate a layer 3 connection in ACI. What's going on this next Maven? Today we'll use Cisco APEC that includes a simple create the L3 L2 wizard that provides a straightforward walkthrough for configuring an L3 out, which defines the how the ACI fabric connects to external layer 3 networks. So in this lab, we will create and integrate a layer 3 connection in ACI. However, before we do this, we need to configure the physical network that in the fabric and access policies. It is that in the tenant, we'll find my tenant Expand networking. Here we'll find is the L3 out. We don't have L3 out, so we don't have it. So our create is L3 domain. Go back to access policies, open physical and external domains. Here, L3 domain. We have to create a L3 domain. We name it as L3 out. We click submit too early. So let's go over this again. L3 out under AEP here. We'll create a new AAEP. The name is L3 Domain AEP. Next and finish. We'll leave the VLAN pool fields blank because it is not needed. For example, you would need the pool for L3 connections with SVIs and the sub interfaces. Then now click Submit to access create the L3 domain window. And in the fabric, the stay access policies, expand the quick start, create an interface like before. What we'll give you background is the router will be connected to leaf 201 and leaf 202, which you might leave one and leaf two on port one slash five, and it will be running at one Gbps. CDB should also be enabled. Just remember to assign your L3 domain AEP to uh, your individual access policy group, which I can name as uh, L3 domain PG. So when I create it, I will have to create it for the leaf one and leaf two. So let's show you how to do that. Leaf here will select the node. It's my leaf one, leaf two. Click OK. Interface I've set is on the router connected to one slash five on both on both switches. So <clears throat> interfaces here, interface type will select is individual. Okay. And leave access port policy group drop down here. We'll have to create a Leaf access port policy group. So the name we want to use is uh, L3 domain core group. Okay. So here the AEP we already created. That's layer 3 domain AEP. CDP we want to turn it on. Link level policies. We want to use one gig. Speed is one gig. Select this. Let's see. Don't have any others. All right. Click 
save now save to create the interface and now expand interface here power files i will select uh, one slash five for my l3 domain Here you go, they're on different port selectors right here. Okay, the access policies are created. And now we will use the uh, L3 out wizards and we'll make necessary basic configuration for the L3 out component. We'll create an identity page which will create the basic config for the L3 out as well as static routes and the diff dynamic routing protocol kind of create a node and interface this step is create the node profiles and interface profiles for l3 l2 interface we'll select the protocol based on protocol i'll select the identity page and there's external epg so we'll create a contract and subnet for this external epg to do that we go back to the tenants this time go we'll to log on to my tenants expand the networking click the l3 out right click it create l3 out so we leverage the ospf this time we want to use is uh, name it at l3 out ospf dvf is the VF credit VF01 domain elsewhere out? Let's pick OSPF. This time, area we make is the zero regular area. We'll go next to go to the nodes and interfaces configuration page. The node ID we're going to pick is my leaf one route ID. 201, 201, 201, and 201. Interface here we will pick is 1 slash 5. Interface, give interface. And we we'll have to add my leaf 2. In here, hide, hide interface, and I add. Okay. So the base as here, my leaf two route ID two oh two same interface on leaf two IP address click next in the protocol dialog just click next here external epg the name we want to use is l3 out provide a contract we would like to create a contract here's more step contract permit to l3 out in the subject, add a subject, same name, from permit to L3 out future, we're going to add, find out ICMP, click update. Say OK. Send it here. Click Finish. That's expanded. They expanded. Expand external EPG. We have the contract. 
Now let's provide external connectivity to an application profile. It is to allow application profile connectivity through the L3 L connection. Open the bridge domains. Let's maximize 20.0 uh, dB. So bridge domain here, which is associated with the web EPG, then maximize the subnet. We're going to select advertise externally and submit. Submit that change. Then we're going to pick L3 out or SPF to associate L3 out. Let's cancel this. It's not here. We just need to address externally on the subnet. Go back to the bridge domain. Now click policy in here. What we have is L3 configuration. Here we pick the L3 out. Add here, associate. Here L3 out. Update here. Because ACI is a secure fabric, the bridge domain subnets are not advised externally. It is here. We should activize externally. We we'll need to adjust this bridge domain 192.168.20.0 bridge domain subnet to advertise ad externally and associate it my L3 out for the announced right here. Now let's expand my app. Expand application EPGs. Right click 20 web. Let's add it. Consumer contract. Permit to L3 out. Submit it. So this time, the L3 out is on my 20 web. Click my app topology. In here, I know there's a clear diagram for L3 out. Bitterian, that's a contract provider and a consumer for my 20 web. NetMaven here. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button to dive into the world of amazing network technologies with me. And please feel free to leave your comments below. Hey everyone, NetMaven here. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button to dive into the world of amazing network technologies with me. And please feel free to leave your comments below.